Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to deploy a desired state configuration with Azure Automation. The whole idea of Azure Automation and desired state configuration is that it will help you manage if you have a lot of VMs. You can just define the state for your virtual machines and then you can let Azure Automation keep that desired state for all of your virtual machines. Here, as you can see, I have defined a sample desired state configuration. I'm calling it my first configuration. It will just add a, a text file and then it will install IIS on the virtual machine. Now, let's see how you can deploy this with an automation account. First, I'm going to go into my Azure portal and then I'm going to open PowerShell window. And for this demo, we need to have few resources on Azure. First, we need a resource group and then a virtual machine. Now I have created this script to create the virtual machine. I'm going to run it. All right, I have created my virtual machine and after that I have opened my port 80 so that I can access the web server that I'm installing with Azure Automation. Now if I go into the resource group that I've just created, we can see the virtual machine. The next thing that we need is an Azure Automation account. Now let me create that. I'm going to search for automation and then I'm going to click create. Here I can give a globally unique name, automation account and then I can change the region. I'm going to put Southeast Asia and then I'm just going to create the automation account. All right. Now I'm going into state configuration. This is the area where we can manage PowerShell DSC automations for virtual machines. The first thing that I'm going to do here is adding the configuration that I've shown you earlier. I have copied that to my PowerShell. I have copied that to the drive here. As you can see, we have it. And then we're going to use this script here to create the configuration. Now let me copy that and I'm going back to Azure PowerShell. Now let me run this. As you can see, we have just created our first DSC configuration on Azure. Now let's refresh this. As you can see, we have it here and I'm going in and then we have an option to compile this script. Let me click yes. All right, as you can see, the compilation is queued. The compilation will take around one or two minutes. Let's wait now. As you can see, the compilation is complete. I'm going back to my automation account here and I'm going into nodes. And here we can add the virtual machine as a node. As you can see, we have our server VM here. Let me select that and I'm going to close this partial window. Now let me connect the virtual machine. And here we have a few options. I'm going to select my first configuration and then the refresh frequency is 30 minutes is fine. And then I'm going to enable these options and I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see, we have the server VM on the dashboard here and it is in in progress state. Once our configuration is deployed, it'll go into compliant state. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. As you can see, now it is in compliant state. Now if we go into the resource group and then to the virtual machine and if I copy the public IP address and if I paste it here, as you can see, IIS is accessible from the public internet even. All right, now let me RDP into this. As you can see here, we have IIS installed. Now if I go into Windows Explorer and this PC and C drive, here we have the temp folder that we have specified. And in that temp folder, we have the file that we have specified in the DSC script. And today we learned how to use Azure Automation to run your DSC script on Azure Virtual Machines. If you have any further questions or comments, let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.